So what we got here is an Ambrosio Elite Series 4.0 robotic lawnmower. Um, as you can guess by the name Ambrosio, this is an Italian machine. Now, this is just going to be a little bit of a sample here, kind of uh, give you a little taste of um, what this is all about. We're going to show you a few of the uh, really cool features with this thing, and uh, some of the stuff really sets us apart from other robotic mowers out there. You know, when I pulled this out of the box, uh, it, it's one thing to see this in a video or see pictures of it on the internet and you know read the specs and everything but it's another to see this thing up close and in person uh it's it's a hefty machine it's built very very strongly um so we'll start here with a few of the features one cool thing is of course you know you got to pick this thing up when it's brand new and you're carrying it around to set it up back here's the handle no reaching in underneath anything here you actually pull up on this and it comes out and there's your handle right there pretty convenient tucks away you don't have to worry about that getting caught on anything then while we're back here at the back of the machine this is actually your control display here that's where you're gonna have all your uh, where you're gonna do all your settings and everything um, you know, on a lot of the robotic mowers, they're on the top, underneath the cover. This one here is to the back. So, um, easy to access that one. And then, of course, you got your stop button on the top here. Right in front of the stop button is a uh, rain sensor. The front, ugh, you got a nice bumper here for bouncing in and off of objects. So that's a pretty cool feature, you know. It's not going to beat up the rest of the machine now if it if it does hit something hard or something big plows into it. Uh, that's rubber coated. It's a really really nice setup. Then underneath here, flip this thing over. It's got some weight to it. Underneath here, you can see this is the cutting disc. And it does not have the uh, the blades that just you know fling out uh, the pivoting blades. It has actually rigid, solid-mounted blades, and uh, same kind of setup you would see on most of the robotic mowers with a a cutting disc and the blades attached to that cutting disc. The wheels, the caster wheels, you can see they got some pretty big, heavy-duty guards on them, and uh, there are some pretty hefty wheels. One cool thing about this is the dual wheels in the back, and they are actually they're actually rubber tires on there. That is uh, really neat when you see that, and you just you, know, you can squeeze those tires. Helps this thing get a lot of traction, you know, compared to the hard plastic tires that might slide on a bank or something like that. This is going to work like a like a lawn tractor going down a hill. You know, it's not going to tear everything up and just spin and slide it's gonna have some grip to it now you might have just noticed there while I was uh, touching this tire see a little bit of movement there this thing actually articulates oh, flip this around here so you can get a better view at it so we got the the back end sitting still here and you can see it's got that much movement right there that it'll articulate and the caster wheels actually will slide in and out to let this thing really float with the contours of the ground. And you won't get that time where this thing's going across a hump and the one wheels up in the air causing it to veer off to the side or anything like that. You know, it's going to get a nice smooth travel across your, your um, grass and give you a nice even cut. And the back here... This is the battery right here, this big plastic box. That's something that you got to put in when you first get one of these out of the box and get it ready to uh, take out to install it. Have to install the battery in this piece here. Um, you know, it's got these uh, fingers here to help stand the grass blades back up. 
you know, before the, the blade goes into it to cut it. Um, just a, a lot of stuff going on here with this thing that uh, it's way more than I thought I was going to be in for, you know, by looking at the, the pictures and watching some presentations and stuff. This is a big, solid unit. Uh, you pick this thing up, it weighs noticeably more than uh, some of the other brands of robotic lawn mowers that would be capable of doing the same amount of area as this one. Now, we'll give you some of those specs later on as we go, but this was just a uh, kind of an opening taste here of the Ambrosio 4.0 Elite Mower. Um, we're going to get this thing out there and we're going to run it around and we'll show you how how it does, how it handles the the grass and some of the cool things that it does. Uh, there's a lot more to these than what you probably expect. And if you're familiar with the more common robotic mowers, um, not that this isn't a common brand, I just know there's a lot of people that haven't heard of Ambrosio before, but um, I will say that <clears throat> this is uh, probably a good competitor. Um, we'll see for sure when we get it out there in the grass and try it out, but uh, from from what we're seeing here, uh, just in the in the shop and um, going through the manual and everything, this is definitely going to be a a good unit for a lot of lawns in my area. You know, it it's going to do well on the hills. We know that because of the rubber tires, and we know going across the hard surfaces, you're not going to get that vibration and bouncing up and down because of the the hard tires it's got the nice soft rubber tires so it's not going to shake your electronics and everything else around and there's just a, a lot of good things here with this that um really surprised me and several other people who were seeing us for the first time so um nope, enough rambling on about that we'll show you a few pictures here uh some other stuff that you get a little bit better look at it and um Leave us some comments, and if you're really interested and we get enough feedback, we'll show you some more. Um, simple as that. So here's a better look at that front bumper on the Elite 4.0. You can see back here that this is what takes the, uh, the majority of the shock, and if it hits something, that will just collapse back. It's a pretty hefty spring or shock or whatever is in there. Um, but if it runs into something, you can see it's going to hit on this big bumper or catch this part of the bumper down here and, and, uh, keep for whatever it is from hitting on the actual mower and beating up the mower. And that's a nice, hefty, solid bumper on there. Really like that setup. You know, you see a lot of these where they're all beat up in the front because they kind of taper down and get stuck under stuff. So this gives you plenty of room for your mower to hit something and keep your plastic still in decent shape. As we showed you, the display and your your menu and everything is back here. Um, this is your power button to turn everything on and off. And this is all touch screen here. You've got your pin code for security. Um, you know, basic stuff, but it's really easy to see because it's a pretty large screen there. And then you have your stop button up top here. And as we said, there's a rain sensor up here too. So a little bit better look at that stuff. Now I said about this doing better on the hills because of the rubber tires. You know, there's they're some nice soft rubber tires, but they're going to grip really well. And a big advantage this thing's going to have is down here. You look at the surface contact that this thing has with those rubber treads on it. And then the fact that it's actually two tires on either side grabbing like at two rubber tires so that thing is going to get some really good bite on a hill um you know compared to a smaller diameter back wheel with the plastic treads on it that are hard and going to slide this thing is going to just grab like a uh like a, a tire on a four-wheeler or something or a, a zero turn you know that you're running with a low air pressure because it's going to flatten out it's going to spread that load across the ground better than a smaller diameter tire. 
Now it shows you that this thing will articulate to cover the ground better. Well, the contours of your ground, I should say. So here's an example of this. We got the back wheels sitting on the ground and this thing will raise up that high and you still have both back tires well the back tires on both sides on the ground and your other tire over there on the ground and then this one here can move up and down that hot that far so that's a good bit of travel that you're getting there that this thing can move around to uh, cover those contours of your ground to give you a nice even mowing job Here's a better look at the front caster wheels. You can see that's some hefty metal on there. You got these guards on the outside to protect the tire, but this whole bracket, you know, that is just, that's some thick metal they got on there. You're gonna have a hard time bending that. You know, it's, if you run it with your pickup truck or something, maybe you might bend that, but that's not gonna have a whole lot of give to it. So that's gonna hold up very well. And you can see up underneath here, they got the screws here to take this housing apart to change stuff around. Uh, the rubber tire, it actually goes out to the edges. So you're going to be wearing that rubber tire. You're not going to wear into the, uh, the wheel itself. You're just going to wear down your rubber tire, which um, if you've seen some of our other videos, some of the other ones out there, people tend to let them go too long. They wear into the actual the uh, side of the wheel when their tire gets worn down and loose and floppy. So there again, another nice positive, another beefy part of this machine that is just very robust. Let's just say that. Uh, everything on this is just very hefty for a robotic lawnmower. All right, that's the end of our opening look here at the Ambrosio Elite Series 4.0 robotic lawnmower. As we said, leave us some comments. Give us some feedback. What do you think about it? Um, you know, what do you think of the features you saw so far? Have any experience with one of these? You know, do you have one of the other Ambrosio models? What do you like, not like about it? Uh, what do you want to know more about this one? What do you want to see it do? Or what do you want to know about it? Uh, we're going to get this one ready to take out there to mow. And we'll give you some more ideas of what it can do, what it can't do, what's good, what's bad, and things like that. But um, we'd love to hear from you guys, get some feedback, and um, we'll just go from there. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll be talking to you soon.